he just wanted to interview me for his channel. And then, and then I was just like, no. Puka! <laughs> That's a bad girl. Go, 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 go. You're getting kicked out. Go. Is that on camera, too? Yep, got it. Perfect. Don't put that in the video. I, I won't. Mm -hmm. You know, sides, most of the time I come to Vegas to get tips, they're about betting on the ponies. <laughs> Are you sure it's not... But today I'm here for some different types of tips. This is Sides, the number one Logic Pro producer, educator on earth. Oh, wow. I don't know if you knew number that. Number one? You're number one for sure. No. Who's number two? <laughs> there's so many good Doesn't ones. Doesn't matter, but there's really only one Sides. So she just released a whole book slash video companion on top Logic Pro tips. I made a book called Things You Didn't Know You Can Do in Logic Pro, and it has all of these Logic Pro tips that you probably didn't know, or you might have known and forgot about. For sure. And they're all here. Power user right here. So she's gonna teach me some of the top ones, and then if you guys are interested, this is also like gonna be a discount. Yeah, there's so, discount. Pff, amazing. So let's get to the tips. Okay, things you didn't know you can do in Logic Pro. Did you know that you can Click on any audio region and then press Command Option T and Logic will detect the tempo of the audio region. What? <laughs> you can do that? Did you really not know that? I didn't know that at all. This is so funny because I'm like, yeah, I'm a Logic power user. Every time I come over here, <laughs> she just teaches me something I probably should know. That's a good that's a good one to know. Okay. Huh? And did you know <laughs> Space Bar plays <laughs> plays Yes. This did you know that you can take a drum loop? Let's find a drum loop from Splice. Let me pull up handy dandy splice. Alright, so mm. I'm gonna download that. Like it. And then if you drag that over to this space over here. Okay. And then you click Drum Machine Designer. You can just click OK here. Now it's going to put those individual drum transients on a different pad so you can play them out. What? <laughs> it does that? Did you really not know that? I, no, of course I Don't stop saying it like that. <laughs> this is supposed to be everybody's learning. <laughs> so, all right, all right, so now I've got them all chopped up into like just different yeah and you can even play it on your midi keyboard which you can't see but like okay. basically you play c1 so it automatically chops up a sample on as a midi instrument did you know if you press option okay so if you play a midi chord right now on the default settings if you play like in between a midi chord check it out you don't hear it until you won't hear any sound the next one yeah yeah so if you press option p you can open up project settings go to midi go to chase and then click notes. Now, if you play in the middle, it plays. That's the most frustrating thing, is when you can see the MIDI, but it, it only registers from the beginning. Yeah, so that's how you fix that. I feel like MIDI chase should be default on. That's a, I think it doesn't because it like can lower your CPU or something. I'm not worried about it. Yeah. I got, I got a pretty you, high you CPU. Got, you got you know the highest. About. <laughs> the highest. All right, and did you know you can Take drums, so like I have these kicks, and let's say I want to duplicate them, you can press Control D. Hold on, click over here, press Control D, and now you can duplicate them. You can pick any, so basically it's gonna put the MIDI right underneath it. Okay. You can duplicate it by like finding any logic sound, stock logic sound. So you can do an acoustic sound. Um, Can pick an electronic kick sound and it's gonna like duplicate it for you for the MIDI. So it automatically makes a new track and then yeah, just it duplicates it. And then you can unmute this if you want to by pressing Control M. And then you can layer them. Isn't that cool? Oh, there we go. Ah. Uh. You can lower it and mix it if you want. Because a lot of people like to layer their drums. So this for is sure. a quick way to do that. Did not know that. <laughs> Go ahead, say it. Did you really not know that? I really, I really didn't know it. And did you know you can go over here, like, let's say you have, like, an audio. Let's find, like, a flute or something. So, flute. Okay. This really works best with, like, a monophonic line, which means a singular line. So not, no like, chords. chords. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah I know what monophonic means. I'm just helping the peeps. Just <laughs> for them. For them. Yeah, okay. All right. 
Did you know how monophonic it is? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, so here it is, the mm-hmm. audio. There's a little flute. And if you double click on this, okay, and then you turn this button on, which will turn on flex. Flex. And then you go to flex pitch. You don't really need to do that step, I don't think. And then you do create MIDI track from flex pitch data. Oh, it really? It make- made it audio to MIDI. It's that easy? It's that easy. Wow, okay. Yeah. And it defaults with a new instrument, too? So it looks like uh, it defaults? No, it, it defaults with a classic piano. Okay, so yeah. you'd have to change it. But let's hear how accurate it is, because sometimes they're not always good. Let's hear. Like right. I said, it works better for a monophonic line, so let's hear. Pretty good. Yeah, I can hear it. Those are the notes, for sure. Can get a little louder? Yeah. There we go. That's actually yeah. impressive because there were those like da 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 da. Yeah. Okay. So if you're a guitar player and maybe you're not great with music theory or great hearing the notes, you can play out the line and then you can do this. Or if you're a singer, you can do that. And especially with all these isolated like track splitting stemming things, you yeah. can actually put like maybe a guitar solo into Logic and then have that just show you what the notes are if you want to practice something. Exactly. Did you know you can cycle a section and then if you actually control click on it you have all of these options so you can let's say you want or you can remember these key commands you can insert silence between locators so now you have like a four bar in between that or you can repeat section between locators so like let's say you want oh to the so that's a quick copy and paste for everything yeah but for are you everything kidding me? within those locators wow <laughs> You want to know how I would do it? I would, like, I would command marquee tool everything. Oh, no. Cut it. There's a... Move everything, drag everything else over. Well, do you know That's about super... shift F? You know about shift F, right? Would... Pro... So if you Pro... do... yeah, yeah, but tell them. If you do shift to... F, it'll highlight everything after shift F, so then you can just, like, move it over like that, too. So it'll just, like... Hold on, wait. So, so if you select this, and I want to say okay. I want to highlight this and everything after the, that, okay, it will do that. Shift, Shift F. Oh, I see. Everything yeah. on. Okay. So that's helpful too, for sure. That's helpful for me doing it the inefficient way that I used to do it, but now that I can just do that, duplicate. Yeah, and cycle. If you want three hundred and seventy-five more Logic Pro tricks. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Uh, look! Look how cool! Look how. T- I can't believe you made that many. Whoa, she's so fast. <laughs> so here's the book, and there's so much here. Oh, my. And God. then you can click back to the top, and it'll take you to the table of contents, and you can click on any of these. So if you go to, let's say, Marquee Tool, it will take you to the Marquee page, and you can even click here, and it will take you to the video guide that I created outlining each of the tips in us uh, using the marquee tool. Oh my gosh. So let's see. Welcome to section nine marquee tool tricks. This is the most versatile tool. I always have my marquee tool on the second tool, which I can access by holding down command and I can make my selection. If you hold down option command, that little icon will appear. And if you click on a full region, the marquee will select the full region. If you want to make tr- I'm so impressed with how you've put all this together. I'm right? impressed with me too. That's really that's amazing, and, and this this seems expertly proofread as well. Yeah, he did, he proofread it for me. Come on, come on. <laughs> so uh, help support your fellow creator by picking up a copy of these Logic Pro tips. Yeah. Because I've learned so much. And I'll have a special <laughs> link for uh, sh- SD fans. Oh really? A little discount? In your caption. Nice. Okay. Cool. If Didn't even okay know. Did you, you know? <laughs> did, you, <laughs> did you know that you can make a discount for my watchers? <laughs> All right. Great. Well, thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Here, did you fun. know that SD is the man? Oh, stop. The man squared. No, the man squared. That's it. <laughs> Does anyone call you SD? Yeah, for sure. SD Some card. Do... SD card? That's not that SD card. That's a black Amex. <laughs> they named it after SD you. That's an SD card, yeah. Uh-huh. For, for sure. <laughs>